Welcome to a brand new career mode, I'm Tom at FC Heaven and this is the episode where Luis Suarez's fate will be decided. We have only 3 days left of the transfer window and as a precaution I'm already putting in a bid for Lassina Traore who is one of the players that I, um, I think I could get for a reasonable price. Let's try first at uh, 7 million. But of course I don't want to sell Suarez so I will try and offer him a new contract and hopefully he can accept that and he can stay. But if the board decides to sell Suarez then I can do nothing about that. Lots of you guys commented what I should do. So yeah I, I think I will, I will try and offer him a new contract and let's see, let's see if he will, um, he will stay or not. I'm not entirely sure. But let's try and offer Suarez a contract and I'm so grateful, I'm so happy that you guys uh, bored forcing his sale. Oh no. So yeah, lots of you guys suggested that I should offer him a new, new contract. But the board have decided that this player must be sold and it's really annoying because the board didn't even ask my opinion. And the, in one of the games even the commentators were saying that the Liverpool board is undermining my position at Liverpool uh, which is really annoying but what can you do this game is so realistic that sometimes you get uh, bad owners just like in real life so let's see what happens so guys the inevitable happened Luis Suarez is sold to Bayern Munich for 25 million pounds which is I think way way under his actual value and we got 21 million plus in our transfer budget and I'm absolutely gutted that Luis Suarez left Liverpool but I couldn't do anything I, I, I'm just still baffled that the Liverpool board decided to sell our best striker our best player and I'm so happy that in real life this didn't happen they could have said the same but uh, in real life we thought tooth and nail to keep Suarez and that's exactly what we did. So now I think with all this money I will try and bring in a really really good world class striker. Let's see who is available on the market. Since the start of this career mode loads of you guys have recommended Zakaria Bakkali the PSV right winger for me. So I think I will, I will go and try and get him just to soften the blow of losing Luis Suarez, he is uh, one for the future, at the moment we have Sterling and Coutinho on the wings but hopefully we can, we can get him uh, for 5.5 million or something like that, I think that was uh, his asking price and hopefully we can get him uh, and he could become one of the best players in the league because his potential is 90 and he is an absolute brilliant brilliant young player so I'm listening to you guys just leave your comments uh, and uh, I will read all of them and I'm listening uh, and uh, I will try and get as many players as you want to see at Liverpool in this career mode it's so much fun uh, listening to your guys suggestions so keep commenting keep liking the videos and the more likes the videos get the more episodes you will see me upload I thought long and hard about what to do and how to replace Luis Suarez and uh, even on FIFA 13 I was contemplating and thinking about signing Stefan El Sharawi and uh, I know some of you guys might say that this is an unrealistic signing but uh, let me tell you that it's not really because Milan, AC Milan are in the, in the same position as Liverpool they aren't top dogs in their league just yet and uh, even though Milan is in the Champions League they are uh, struggling at the bottom half of the table in Italy in real life and Liverpool are just absolutely flying in the Premier League so I think if we put in a high offer for El Sharavi uh, Milan might sell because you know they sold uh, Boateng to Schalke and they stole uh, most of their best players and they have Kaka in the team now so I, I will try and get uh, El Sharavi and let's see what Milan say to our offer I think he could be our perfect replacement a real a real marquee signing and let's see if we put in a somewhat under his value 17 million let's see uh, what Milan say to that let's try and get him 
So Milan got back to us and they say that El Sharawi's buyout clause includes a 35.5 million buyout clause, which is one hell of a lot of money. But you know what? I feel like we need a marquee signing in place of Luis Suarez. So I, I really hope that you guys will be happy with this signing because El Sharawi looks like an absolute beast. So you know what? Let's try and sign him. Oh, this is very good. You know, our inquiry, when it came back, they said that they will consider a bid of 35.5 million. But now that we actually put in a bid for El Sharawi, they are saying that they will sell for 27 million pounds, which is absolutely brilliant and much lower than his actual value. So, so yeah, let's get him for 27 million pounds. An absolutely brilliant brilliant buy he would be and I'm absolutely buzzing let's try and get him and also we can get uh, Zakaria Bakali for 5.5 million and they accepted our offer so uh, let's get him and he wants 25,000 weekly wages and we can absolutely uh, absolutely pay that so if we could get Bakali and El Sharabi, that would be an absolutely amazing last day transfer deadline day. I'm absolutely loving this career mode at the moment. So fingers crossed that Bakali will accept our transfer offer and Milan will accept our offer for El Sharabi. I'm absolutely buzzing. This could be one of the best uh, transfer deadline days in the history of Liverpool Football Club. Let's see what happens guys. Wow guys, I'm absolutely buzzing, we have great news, Milan accepted our transfer deadline day bid of 27 million pounds for Al Sharawi and uh, I think we must adjust the, I think we must adjust the transfer allocation because we don't have enough wages for that, so let's do that. So here we go guys, let's try it again. I adjusted my uh, transfer allocation so now we have uh, enough weekly wages and uh, let's let's give him an important first team player squad load just so just to make sure that he will accept our offer he will he will be go going straight away into our first 11 as a striker so I'm fingers crossed that we can sign him and he will accept come on Al Sharawi accept our contract offer please we have absolutely brilliant news guys Bakali accepted our contract offer which is absolutely brilliant news welcome to the club Zakaria Bakali absolutely talented promising young player enjoy your stay and win many trophies with Liverpool and now let's go and try and uh, sign a sign El Sharavi yeah new signing arriving so what is El Sharavi saying he says that he wants a bigger role in your in our squad I already gave him a crucial first team role but I think I will what is the best yeah I think I, I offered him an important first team player but let's offer him a crucial first team player role and I, I pray and hope that he will accept because this could be the best transfer deadline day ever in the history of Liverpool. I'm absolutely, absolutely buzzing. So I'm just deleting these uh, these emails. So let's let. Oh, and we won't be selling Daniel Sturridge to uh, Dortmund. I will reject this, reject this offer, and I will uh, reject all future offers because Daniel Sturridge is going nowhere. He is crucial to our. Uh, hopes to get Champions League this season. Oh and Stoke City who we signed Jack Butland from came in with a season long loan offer and that is an absolutely brilliant deal for us because he can develop and uh, improve as a player and we have very bad news guys Al Sharavi declined our contract offer let's give him 120k weekly wages because he doesn't want to leave Milan at the moment so let's try and put everything into this transfer and let's try and get him I'm really really nervous why did, it, did he decline he says he's a top player and his current club and don't doesn't feel that this move 
suits him. Let's hope that money can persuade him into joining Liverpool. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Al Sharavi finally accepted our contract. We throw him 140k weekly wages and money is indeed uh, running the game. Money is indeed what's the most important for players as you can see even though he didn't uh, feel the move suited him he he still accepted our 140k weekly wage offer and i'm really really de delighted that we could bring in a marquee signing for 27 million pounds al sharawi welcome to liverpool enjoy your stay win many trophies and hopefully this could be the start of the title challenge at Liverpool. I'm absolutely buzzing. We replaced Suarez with a world-class player. Al Sharab is one of my favorite players. He's so skillful, so fast. He has four-star uh, weak foot, three-star skill moves. Oh, wow, I'm delighted. Such a relief that we could replace Suarez with an absolutely world-class talent world-class player i hope you guys are happy with this signing let me know in the comments below what do you think about this so guys it's the last hour of the transfer 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 deadline day sorry i can't speak i'm so excited and now it's time to look at all the all the top signings for all the top teams and arsenal bought in karim benzama for 12 and a half million pounds he is the third biggest transfer in this transfer deadline day but as you can see as you can see Suarez to Bayern Munich is the second on the right side you can see the top deals and El Sharavi to Liverpool is the first and Chelsea surprisingly haven't brought in anyone didn't sell anyone this January and uh, let's see what the other top teams did Fulham surprisingly sold Brian Ruiz who was in top scorer I think in the league or at least he was top scorer for uh, Fulham and as you can see we brought in four forwards in this transfer window three strikers and one winger Al Sharavi will play as a center forward as a striker for us and Marshall, Victor Andrade and Bakkali are all players for the future we, we spent 35 million in this transfer window and we sold Alan Suarez and Lucas and Jones and also Jack Butland went out on loan in this transfer window so we we made a profit of 35.6 million so it was uh, almost the same as our uh, s uh, total spend so we were we were i think uh, really really active and uh, we had an absolutely brilliant january transfer window and i'm already loving this career mode so i really hope that you guys are enjoying this and let me know what do you think about all my transfer dealings and uh, I think it's a good deal for Joe Allen to go to Swansea City and now let's look at all our all our transfer dealings and uh, I think uh, we can we can view this in the transfer negotiations folder we at the at the successful negotiations you can pause the screen guys at any time and uh, watch uh, what kind of deals we did, Butland went out on loan, we brought in four players in this uh, winter transfer window, January transfer window and I was pretty sad to see Lucas uh, and uh, Suarez getting sold by the board, both players were sold by the board which was really really uh, gut wrenching, I, I was absolutely gutted at the time but I think we replaced them with real top top talent so I really hope that you enjoyed this January transfer special episode and if you liked it make sure to leave a like and if this video gets to 150 50 likes you will see a second episode a double upload from me later today so keep up the support guys Tobal FC Army is growing strong today I think we hit 14,000 subscribers so I'm really grateful to every single one of you for this make sure to share the vi videos and my channel with your friends bring uh, even more subscribers into the tomal fc army 
and we will be the best army in the world you guys are the best subscribers thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this episode make sure to leave a like and i'm already looking forward to using all these beast players into carrier mode thanks for watching see you later guys goodbye welcome to fulham against liverpool and fulham started off the season really really well but they faded away and now they are in mid table and i'm absolutely gutted that suarez looks like uh, he wants to leave Liverpool, 